What happens to your waste? In this video we take you on a journey of the waste stream residual waste. Most of our waste can be collected separately for recycling. All waste that remains after separation is part of the residual waste. Residual waste is therefore waste that cannot be collected separately. You dispose residual waste in the appropriate module in the multi-waste container. This module is colored gray and therefore easy to recognize. Residual waste is gray. When the waste bag in the multi-waste container is full, the cleaner removes the gray bag. This is then deposited in a residual waste roll container intended for this purpose. This roll container is also gray, which makes it even more recognizable. We collect the separated residual waste with one of our vehicles. After this, we transport the residual waste to the nearest waste to energy plant. There are only 12 of these in the Netherlands. The waste goes into a large oven. Renewable energy is created when residual waste is incinerated. Burning waste generates electricity and heat for many households and companies. One full garbage bag provides heat to shower for about 45 minutes. Will there be no residual waste left after incineration? Yes, but this is also recycled as much as possible. One of the materials that remains after incineration is bottom ash. This is used for the elevation and foundation of roads and noise barriers. Metal is also often found after burning. New products are made from this. This way we still recycle as much residual waste as possible. But a lot of CO2 is released during combustion and this is not good for the environment. It is therefore important to separate residual waste, so that we can use and recycle the other waste streams sustainably. That is what happens to your residual waste.